Would you like to customize your AI agent's avatar? Well, let me show you how. Hey Jetformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. And like I mentioned, if you would like to edit or customize your AI agent's avatar or design, you can absolutely do both. So I'm gonna go into the top left-hand corner. We're currently in my forms. I'm gonna jump over into my agents. And for this example, we are going to be customizing Julia. So I'm going to edit agent. And as you can see, as soon as you choose to edit your agent, you're going to automatically end up in the designer in your avatar. So you can see right here, it has our current avatar, which is selected. You also have numerous others to choose from. And all you need to do to change is just choose the next person. We can see Julia change right over here. Now, since this AI agent is for a hotel, we might wanna change it back to be one of those first two that we've had. But one thing you can do within the avatar tab is we can utilize this search option. So we can see here holding a tablet. Let's go ahead and try that one. And we can take a quick scroll. Looks like we have some people and then we also have some cartoon type animals. You can see that you can literally make this exactly how you want it to look. But I'm gonna go ahead and X out of that and get us back to our regular Julia. Now, if we scroll down just a little bit, we can see right down here, we have face swap capability. So you can upload a picture of maybe your actual guest relations specialist to have this look similar to someone who actually works for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and I'm gonna upload a photo. And I went ahead and chose my normal profile picture. We'll choose save. We can see it's working its magic and we can watch Julia's face up here and we can see that she looks a little like me now, which is pretty neat. So you can easily turn that on or off. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off for now. We jump to the next tab over under generate. We can type in a very specific idea of someone that we are looking for. So we can see here, hotel concierge, dressed as a hotel concierge, formal uniform, holding a clipboard with a welcoming smile. And you can see that fits very well. So if you would like to change this to be something else, you can definitely do that. I'm going to go ahead and let's see what happens when we change this to male. And now we have a male guest relations specialist. And of course, we're going to need to change the name and we can do that here. But another thing that we can do is we can upload our own. So I'm going to go ahead and choose to upload an avatar. And again, I just chose a random picture of me. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the background because whatever you choose to save is going to be the avatar. So I wanna make sure that I am cut out. And here I am as Julia, the guest relations specialist. Now, of course, for me, I prefer for this to be my Julia for the AI guest relations specialist, but it really is as simple as that as far as updating and editing your avatar. Now, if we jump to the next tab over, which is going to be the style tab, we can change the overall color scheme. And we do have some templated colors here, so we can change to more of a dark or maybe green, but we can always edit the colors to fit our brand. So let's say, maybe I want this to be a bit lighter and I want this screen to be a little bit darker. We can do that. We can see that that changed right over here. And maybe we want this to be more of a a red. See, it's going to automatically change for you so you can see what that is going to look like. Perfect. Next, we have the ability to change her name here and up in the train tab. So if we want, we can change her name to Julie. Perfect. Her name is changed right there. And then we also have the page background and style. This is going to be this section right back here that your AI agent is sitting on. So let's go ahead and play with that. We'll make it a little dramatic so we can see that difference. All right, so we have the green and then that pink. So that's what she is sitting on. And of course, if you have an image, you can always upload an image to your background as well. Now the chat style is gonna be the same thing. We can change what this looks like. Maybe I want this to be more of a white color this background over here. We can also change the font family, the font color, even the button color right down here. We can change the layout right now. Julie is on the right. Maybe I want her over on the left. So that kind of gives you a, that different layout. And if you want, you can choose a file to be your logo to be on that welcome page. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to customize or edit your AI agent's avatar and design, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.